Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are just tuning in, my name is Christabel. When you have finished watching this video, please go and check out all the other videos I've done on my channel. Anyway, in today's video, I'll be talking about Supernova. Some stars burn out instead of fading. These stars end their evolutions in massive cosmic explosions known as supernovae. When supernovae explode, they jettison matter into space at some 9,000 to 25,000 miles, 15,000 to 40,000 kilometers per second. These blasts produce much of the material in the universe, including some elements like iron, which make up our planet. Supernovae add enriching elements to space clouds of dust and gas, further interstellar diversity and produce a shockwave that compresses clouds of gas to a new star formation. But only a select few stars become supernovae. Many stars call in later life to end their days as white dwarfs and later black dwarfs. But massive stars, many times larger than our own sun, may create a supernova when their coarse fusion process runs out of fuel. Star fusion provides a constant outward pressure, which exists in balance with the star's own mass-driven inward gravitational pull. When fusion slows, outbound pressure drops and the star's core begins to condense under gravity, becoming even denser and hotter. When a star's core contracts to a critical point, a series of nuclear reactions is unleashed. This fusion staves off core collapse for a time, but only until the core is composed largely of iron, which can no longer sustain star fusion. In a microsecond, the core may reach temperatures of billions of degrees Celsius. Iron atoms become crushed so closely together that the repulsive forces of the nuclei create a refill of the squeezed core, a bounce that causes the star to explode as a supernova and give birth to an enormous superheated shockwave. Supernovae also occur in binary star systems. Smaller stars up to eight times the mass of our own sun typically evolve into white dwarfs. A star condensed to the size about that of Earth is very dense and thus has strong enough gravitational pull to gather material from the system's second star if it is close enough. If a white dwarf takes on enough mass, it reaches a level called the Chandrasekhar limit. At this point, the pressure at its centre will become so great that runaway fusion occurs and the star detonates in a thermonuclear supernova. A supernova can light the sky up for weeks and the massive transfer of matter and energy leaves behind a very different star. Typically only a tiny core of neutrons, a spinning neutron star, is left to evidence of a supernova. Neutral stars give off radio waves in a steady stream or as pulsars in intermittent bursts. If a star was so massive, at least 10 times the size of our sun, that it leaves behind a large core, a new phenomenon will occur. Because such a burned out core has no energy source to fuse and thus produces no outward pressure, it may become engulfed by its own gravity and turn into a cosmic sinkhole for energy and matter. A black hole. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching everyone and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss an upload.